everybody and welcome back to another action figure review. Here we have the box of the TB Leak Elf Archer White version. So let's take a look at what's inside this good looking box. And as far as I know, this is the first review in English on YouTube. Let's get started. So let's open up the box and as usual the first thing you find here is an instruction from TB Leak how you treat the flexible seamless bodies and then if we remove the top layer here we have all the stuff in the box the body elf armor and I bet we have the head sculpt up here yeah well and there is stuff underneath here as well. So what I'm going to do now is get all of this stuff out of the box and take a closer look. Okay, so we have a pretty good amount of stuff here. We have a crown over here, all the pieces of armor, the shin guard, shoulder pads, wrist gauntlets, stuff like that. Then over here we have a belt, a quiver, the bow, five arrows. Looking good. We have a necklace, different hands, typically open hands or hands to use with the bow. And then we have an extra kind of hood here with holes for the pointy ears. So a good amount of stuff, no base or figure stand this time though. And of course, the main piece, the elf archer herself here in the white version. There are two different versions of this figure, the white one here and also a black one. And uh, here we have the figure without any of the accessories attached. So this is how the figure looks out of the box and with the head sculpt. So no armor, no weapons, nothing. And um, in my opinion, this head sculpt actually looks better than the promo shots. It's a very nice, clean, elf looking head sculpt here with the pointy ears. And as usual, you have to mess around with the hair when you get it out of the box. But uh, absolutely decent looking figure out of the box. And I bet it's going to look even better when all the stuff is on the figure. So what I'm going to do now is to put on some of the stuff and then we'll see how the figure looks with that. As usual, it takes a little work to put all the stuff on the figure here, but it looks really good here with the shin guards and the high heel armor boots and also the wrist gauntlets. I don't really know about the shoulder pads here because you push them on with a button here and uh, well so far they stay where they are but I am a little nervous that when you start to articulate the figure they might fall off easily we'll see but so far so good now let's mount the weapons and now we have everything on the figure the bow and the arrows the quiver and the crown and all in all TB leak have done a great job with this figure. I really like the look of this white elf archer. And you can, of course, easily go for the black version as well. Looks just as good. I can't really remember seeing a, an elf fantasy figure from TB Leak. I have seen some from other manufacturers, but I think in my opinion, this is a really good looking figure. The crown here is made from a flexible material so you can push it down and I don't think there is a risk of miscoloring the figure but I still advise you to be careful when you put on the crown. And if you remove the crown you can instead put on the hood here. I can't really do it with one hand but there are holes for the ears and you can button it up here. Before I conclude anything on this figure, I would also like to show you the back here of the figure. Nice dress and down here we have a bendy wire so you can pose 
the dress here and make it look dynamic. And speaking of posing, I'm not going into the articulation of the figure because if you are familiar with the TB League fights and bodies, you know that this figure is capable of doing everything almost with double jointed knees, elbows and stuff like that. Uh, I can add that this figure seems very solid when it comes to joints. They are tight. And finally a comparison with the Elf Archer and the Witch King from Asmus Toys, another fantasy figure and they fit perfectly in scale. So for now I'm going to conclude this review and leave you with my opinion about the Elf Archer. The short way to conclude my review here is to say that I advise you to go check out this figure. It's a really well made and solid figure and I think you get a lot. And uh, if you're into fantasy type characters as I am, I don't really see a way out of this one. I could have used a knife, a sword, a stand, stuff like that. You could always wish for something more, but I still think you get a lot and most importantly a great looking figure with several display options. Thanks a lot for watching this review. Leave a comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more.